Welcome to the Mercedes Wilson Show. I am so excited to be interviewing the two-time Stellar Award nominee, fashionista, and trailblazer, Keandra Lockett. You're amazing. There'll never be another like you. Welcome to the Mercedes Wilson Show. I have looked forward to this interview for a while now, and she is here, y'all. Keandra Lockett is here to talk her career in gospel music, modest dressing, and church hurt. So let's do it. Hi, Miss Lockett. Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm well. Uh, did you like how I said y'all? Oh, you okay, so then I can say good. Yes, yes, because right. mm -hmm. you're from down south. Right. So mm -hmm. We're good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's let's get um, into it because I want people to learn who you are, if they don't know, okay. most know. Tell us who Keandra Lockett is. Well, I am just a girl who loves to sing. Um, I love to write, so I'm a singer, songwriter. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just, I'm simple, uh -huh. but then flashy at the same time. So I don't, <laughs> I, 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 it's safe to say that I'm, I'm, I'm balanced. That's good. Okay. That's so, good. Yeah. Yeah, cause, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. Give us a little bit of history of you growing up. Okay. Um, it's funny that you asked that because being here today reminds me of my childhood. Mm -hmm. We used to go to the pumpkin patch as a kid, like back in you know my old elementary school, Clarksville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. and um, like it would be like during the fall, so it would be rainy, cold, like you know. And today <laughs> just really reminds me of that, and it, it was a good feeling though, you know. So I, I like that, I, and I was just you know excited to just be a kid, you know. Mm -hmm. I grew up with both my parents and my, my sister. And I mean, it was just a great, you know, a, a, a great childhood, you know? Well, I'm glad to know our cold, rainy weather here in Buffalo. Because it took you back. Right. <laughs> in, instead of made me feel bad. <laughs> now, when did you know music was your thing? When did you first realize, okay, wow, this is it? Um, I guess during the times that I sang with the group that I used to sing with, Zael. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but before then, it was nothing that you know I just really wanted to do. I just did it. Um, I would have like different people from my church tell me, "Oh, girl, you can sing, or you're going to be a star, you're going to be this and that." And I'm I'm a kid, you know, I'm not yeah. thinking about none of that. And so, um, you know, fast forward to today and. Looks like that's what the Lord has carved out for me. <laughs> what did you learn from singing with Zio? Um, I learned that this whole ordeal is a major responsibility. Mm -hmm. You know, any mm -hmm. any dream or any goal, you know, that you're trying to accomplish, it's going to be a responsibility. But there are major things that come with this. You know, you got to make sure that you are taking care of, you know, business and, mm -hmm. you know, ministry, all those things. And it can get a bit um, tasking as well as, you know, um, making sure that your life lines up with what you sing about. Yeah, that's good. That's good. So can you speak to the young person that is thinking, you know what, I think I want to go the same route Keandra Lockett um, is going. What needs to be in place? Because you mentioned having stuff in order. What what are the top two things you would tell them to make sure you have an order before you step out there? Okay, number one, um, the business aspect, mm -hmm. and then your lifestyle. And I say business first because, I mean, lifestyle is first, mm -hmm. but um, w when you get into the music industry, gospel music even, they're not caring about your lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But you have to be responsible and make sure that you're living the life. But um, make sure that the business aspect is taken care of and then, you know, I mean, you, you know what I mean. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so you've had a chance to speak or, or to, to sing with some of the gospel greats. Mm -hmm. Tell us about it. Um, let's see. One amazing um, time, I guess. Oh, I sang at Essence back in 2016, mm -hmm. and I did a tribute for the Clark Sisters. Mm -hmm. It was the most nerve-wracking <laughs> moment of my life because <laughs> there they were sitting down there, and then there were like thousands of people there. So it was just a really great experience, but at the same time, just really nerve-wracking. Mm -hmm. But they were in the crowd. They were in the crowd. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they enjoyed. <laughs> <laughs> That's my first question. So, so what'd you think? What'd right, you right. It was good. <laughs> um, 
Let's get into, because you have a clothing line, mm -hmm. and we're going to talk about modest dressing. So I want you to just introduce your clothing line and tell us a little bit about it. But then the next segment, we're going to get into modest dressing. Okay. What is the name of your clothing line? Jolie Noir. Oh, I love how you say it. Say it again. <laughs> Jolie Noir. And where did that <laughs> name come from? It's French, and it means pretty black. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Both my sister and I, we were trying to rebrand ourselves because we named ourselves the Red Glasses Sisters. About 10 years ago, we had red glasses, mm -hmm. and we thought that we would sell glasses and deem ourselves <laughs> the Red Glasses Sisters, uh -huh. but that did not really work. So we had to, like any you know business would do, rebrand mm -hmm. yourself. And so um, that's what we did. And we want to make sure that we're contributing to the whole you know, pot of my black is beautiful, right. you know, letting black women know that you are beautiful inside and out, you know? Yeah. And I got to say, you and your sister have a lot of fun. Y yeah, you we try to. You two are something else. We I try. love it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to talk more about modest dressing mm -hmm. when we come back. So don't you go anywhere. Right. Okay. And don't you go anywhere either. We'll be right back with Keandra Lockett. Stay with us. Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse. Are you in need of a new kitchen without the hassle of a total remodel? Our service is quick, easy, and convenient. Let us install your work with our hand-picked, licensed installation professionals. You will love your new kitchen. We guarantee it. Home Depot, a name you can trust. Call James Wilson today at 216-322-0766. Looking to better your health and lifestyle? Connect with Stephanie Krebs to get started with Young Living and set your goals into action. Call 585-708-4020 or online at bodysensehcn.com. I'm Mercedes Wilson, and it's only because of the blood of Jesus that I am victorious. I remember sitting in the room with the doctors and them telling me that I was stage two breast cancer in the room started spinning. My world came crashing down and I I'm so grateful for this book and to be able to tell my story and share it with the world. Pick up the book on Amazon, westbowpress.com or Barnes and Noble online. Just trust me, if he can do it for me, he will do it for you. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Keandra stayed with me. I'm so happy she did. <laughs> so we get to talk a little bit more about modest dressing. But first, um, what is the name of your clothing line? Again, I love how you say it, so i got to have you say it again. Jolie Noir. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Jolie Noir. Okay, and when you uh, came out with this line, what, what were you hoping to accomplish? Um... It's an athleisure wear line. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we want to make sure that we are, um, like, giving to the whole, um, you, you got to be needed, you know, yeah. as a business. And so we wanted to make sure that our niche and what it is that we give that, you know, people would, you know, actually love it. And so mm -hmm. um, there is a need for athleisure wear, you know, mm -hmm. for, you know, women to walk around and go grocery shopping, run errands, do all those types of things. You know, we wanted to be able to offer that. And so that's how you have um, Jolie Noir, Jolie Noir, look playing with it, uh -huh. Jolie Noir um, apparel, and it's our athleisure wear line. So congratulations yeah, on thank that. Thank you. Let's talk about modest dressing. Okay. Because I think uh, mostly everyone has different opinions on what modest means. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to Keandra? Um, it, it means fully covered, mm -hmm. you know. Um, like turtleneck fully covered? Well, I usually ain't got one. Of <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was going to say, too, that sometimes um, I don't even, you know, go by the, the standard in full. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's basically my standard, my conviction. And possibly, you know, you're, you have your own standard or mm -hmm. your own conviction. But I think that we should all meet in the center. And the center is, you know, whatever the principle is in the Bible. You know, whatever it is that the Bible says. And that's what I try to do. But as you can see, my jeans are fitted. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I wear a skirt, you know, above my knee. But I think that the, the main thing is that you have to make sure that you know, your your reason for wearing what you wear is right. You know, um, that that it's it's known and that you're not trying to 
do what I guess people say, like seduce and, you know, mm -hmm. those types of things. Because those, those terms, they get thrown out there as well. Right. You know, if you're not what people deem, you know, modest or, mm -hmm. you know. Um, you should speak to young girls about that. Oh. You know what I mean? Because a lot of times we don't know what to wear or we're questioning, or, ah, is this too tight or is this too short? But mm -hmm. um, there is, um, everyone, everyone has their own convictions and how you dress can say things about you, mm -hmm. or you know, at least as far as other people's perception. Right. So, where did you get your sense of fashion from? Did you did you always feel this way, or when you hit a certain age or a certain part in your career, you said, you know what, it's time to really start paying attention to? Um, I guess a certain part in my career, in which this was like years ago when I sang with Zayo, I've had like the bulk of my training then, uh -huh. and so um, I always wanted to be, you know, at that time, neat you know, and, and, um, you know, just dressed nice or whatever. But now I'm all about trends, you know, cause mm -hmm. I feel like when you are trendy, you can stay relevant, you're marketable. And I think about those things, but then, you know, at the same time, it gets kind of hard for me. Cause I'm like, how do, how do you stay trendy and marketable and stay saved looking? Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. Know? Yeah. So like I said earlier, I don't have it all together, but I'm, I'm trying. Mm hmm. No pun intended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that. Um, so what do you say to a young lady out there that may say, I'm still kind of learning myself? Mm -hmm. What can you say to young women out there as far as dress and being comfortable in their own skin? Mm -hmm. um, don't grow up too soon and don't think that you have to have it all together right now you know mm -hmm. your look you know I, I gotta be gorgeous and pretty every day you know all day I want people to notice me like it's it's not worth it you know mm -hmm. I do what I do because I'm here with you today or because I have to go sing or do something you know but when I'm at home I have on sweats when I'm walking about Atlanta I have on a, a sweatshirt t-shirt now I'm still neat <laughs> I'm gonna keep that uh -huh. but um I, I don't care too much about, you know, mm -hmm. about all of this. So the pressure of the glitz and glam. Yeah, like don't wear that. Don't carry that. Mm -hmm. That's good. That's good. So now we're, we're going to talk about something that I think is really important and that everyone has experienced, that thing called church hurt. Mm -hmm. And Keandra is going to talk about that with me. <laughs> so stay with us. Power965radio.com, the new sound of Buffalo, is a proud supporter of the Mercedes Wilson Show. They have a full line of unique programs. Find out more about the station's owner, Sheila Brown, in her new book, 29 Years of Preparation, at Power965radio.com. I've had this problem. Big problem. I really, really needed a good accountant. And I kept searching and searching. <gasps> There are so many choices. It's really hard to find one that has all the things on my list. But I finally did it. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. If you are looking for one as well, look no further. Here's a really good one. Just use mine. Use mine. I'm very satisfied. Definitely recommend. Problem gone. Thank you. Hope, the new book by Mercedes E. Wilson, is a personal testimony of strength, determination, and faith in God helping to overcome life's struggles. Buy it in hardcover, paperback, or Kindle edition on Amazon.com today. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Providing wellness and ministry services for your church and family with master herbalist, iridologist, and conference speaker Caprice Butts. Are you as healthy as you want to be? Nutritional help is just a click away with online wellness packages and consultations. Or grab your friends and book a wellness workshop for your church group. Plus, get daily inspiration to revive you from the inside out. Restore your body, beauty, and soul with Capriceology.com. Subscribe today for a free wellness guide. Welcome back to the Mercedes Wilson Show. Keandra and I now get to talk about something that I'm sure we have all experienced in this walk, and that is church hurt. Yeah. Right. So let's let's get right into it. Um, how how do you describe church hurt? What is church hurt? Um, church hurt is when someone is offended by um, maybe, you know, lashing out of the pastor or, um, you know, possibly even being hurt by um, a situation. You know, they've never seen it before or they've seen it and they feel like it shouldn't be done, you know, in church. Mm -hmm. 
we've all hurt somebody. Yeah, we've all every done single one of us. Someone. Yep. And um, we will be hurt by other people. But I think, you know, learning or you hurting somebody else and you learning from how it feels for them to be mad at you and hold grudges and, you know, not be forgiven. It's not to take away anybody's hurt feelings, but church hurt is just like work hurt. That's what I was going to ask you. Is church hurt any different than work hurt? It's not. No? It isn't. And I think people get offended because it's like, if you're a pastor, you shouldn't say this or do this. Or if you're a church person, you shouldn't do this. Like, we're human. You know what I'm uh -huh, saying? Like, uh -huh. we have the Holy Ghost. We have the spirit of Jesus in us. And that's how we have that superpower. But sometimes we don't put Jesus on every day. And when we don't put him on, we can hurt people. Mm -hmm. Or, or sometimes do. or sometimes it's, we, we have Jesus on in our humanness. It, you know, us in our out. humanness. Mm -hmm. But how do you confront someone mm -hmm. um, when you've been hurt? Because now in the age of social media, oh my gosh. we know how you confront it. Mm -hmm. You type, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> so how do you confront someone and what mindset should we have toward one another? Like I know Keandra is not perfect. Mm -hmm. I know that. Now I'm not making an excuse for you, mm -hmm. but that means that I can go to you and talk to you about some things that I have going on. How should we approach it? Um, with with one another when you're offended? Um, I think that you need to definitely approach people in love and just be honest and let them know, you hurt me, you know? Mm -hmm. And if they can receive that and accept it, good. And if they can't, that means that they have to mature and grow up. And not giving up, I think, is a big one, too, mm -hmm. on your church family. Because like you said, church hurt is not different than work hurt. Right. And we get back up and we go to work the mm -hmm. next morning. Where You know what? There's yep. an incentive. You get money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And people yeah. don't look at the incentive, you know, being that, you know, you you still learn and and, and gain um, knowledge of the word. Yeah. You know, it's like, well, I don't have to go there no more. Y'all ain't doing nothing for me. And the fellowship. Yeah. Right. It yeah. is so encouraging. Accountability, all of yep, that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Now we get to talk everything. Keandra Lockett. <laughs> I'm so excited. All right. So let's talk music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your song, Try, which everybody will get to see the video at the end of the show. Um, love it. Thank you. I love your transparency on this album. What were you thinking when you were writing this song? Um, that I, I needed to sing, sing, because I, <laughs> I hadn't been doing any of that. My producer, Teddy P. Williams, he was like, now there's so many people who are saying that you can sing, but you're not really giving it. So you have to do that this time. Mm -hmm. And the struggle was I was having vocal problems. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of the transparency, you know, it was kind of like it came from that. You know, yeah. I was open about, you know, my vocal problems and things like that. And so it's like, OK, well, this works in this song. Let me be open about this situation and yeah. that problem. And, you know, just being able to be an answer. You know, and when you're transparent, you're able to be an answer to people. Yeah. You know, you help you're, them. And then last thing, I'm a breast cancer survivor, so this is near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. You support breast cancer, um, specifically uh, Susan G. Komen. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody about that. Okay. Well, I had a chance to connect with Susan G. Komen Atlanta, mm -hmm. and um, I did a campaign for breast cancer, and it was called The Beautiful Experience. And I got a chance to go to, like, different places, uh, hospitals, things like that. And um, this one particular um, uh, meeting, I got a chance to sit in. It was kind of like an AA meeting, you mm -hmm. know, where um, the survivors, they discuss, you know, the different things that they deal with and go through. And it was very eye-opening for me because that's, it, it has all to do with, you know, the beauty on the, on the outside. Mm -hmm. But as a survivor, you still have to, you know, pull from within right. and, you know, right. recognize that, that that beauty is there as well. And I still saw myself in them. Yeah. Because although I didn't have um, a situation like that, I still go through, you know, times where I'm like, am I pretty enough? Yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, in, in this industry, you know, to be a, a heavy girl, you know, a lot of people love slender, small mm -hmm. girls. And, you know, sometimes I wonder, like, Am I good enough? Like, am I pretty enough? You know, I know I need to lose some weight, but still, where I am right now, I still have those questions. And so I saw myself in those women, and which I think is an amazing thing, you know, to be able to be one with someone, yeah, you know, yeah. and understand their struggle. And, and the Bible tells us, you know, we are to mourn with each other, yeah, you know, yep, laugh yep. with each other, all those things, you know. Yep. 
So you do so much great work. Thank Tell you. Tell everybody before we go uh, your website and where they can reach and support you again. Okay. Well, follow me on all of my social media. That's at Keyondra Lockett, mm -hmm. K-E-Y-O-N-D-R-A-L-O-C-K-E-T-T. -T. And uh, my website, keyondralockett.com. Uh -huh. Thank <laughs> and you. And my... Um, Clothing line, Jolie Noir, Jolie <laughs> X Noir.com. That's what happens when you got 10 things going on right. and you have an amazing right. team. <laughs> Thank you, Kiana. Thank, Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. We will be right back with the Mercedes moment. There are thousands of local job openings that pay between thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year, and you can get the skills you need at Northland Workforce Training Center. Northland is an extension campus of SUNY Erie and Alfred State College, preparing students for advanced manufacturing and energy jobs. We provide career coaching, financial aid assistance, transportation, and child care. Get started at one of our weekly pre-enrollment sessions. Train for what's next at Northland Workforce Training Center. Wardrobe for the Mercedes Wilson Show was provided by Clothes Mentor in Tonawana, New York. Grade A looks for less.
Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. We live in a time where everything moves so fast and you can easily feel like you will miss your time if you don't keep up. Sometimes life for me can get so fast that I don't consult with God the way I know I should and then I find myself in a storm that I could have avoided. I learned a long time ago that unless God is in it, I easily mess things up trying to do it my way. I am quickly reminded that we serve a God that is amazingly wise and strategic. It's when we trust, acknowledge, and submit our ventures to him that he gives us the wisdom to not only go in the right direction, but to endure in whatever it is that we're doing. When it comes to friendships, business, relationships, how to train your children, how to love your spouse, or where to attend church even, trust in the Lord with your whole heart. He has never let me down, and I can promise he will do the same for you. Learn more about this show and all that I have going on on our website, MercedesEWilson.com. Also, follow me on all of the social media handles at Mercedes E. Wilson, and don't forget to check out all of the shows on YouTube and my podcast. Share this show with someone you love, and I want to say thank you to Keandra Lockett for joining us today, and we will see you next week. And sharing the things that really matter to you. I'm